Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I forgot to put in my uh, Winamp, so I'm not going to have any music at the moment. But uh, welcome back to Refinery Caves, where if I had more time, I would love to play it more, but I am busy. I'm so sorry. I try. I try. Hey, quick reminder. Go watch the No Shave November. We're still running that for the entire month of December. Well, here. I don't know if I'm going to go the entire month, because what happens is usually that like it drops... Uh, within like the third day and then there's it just kind of trickles in so once i see it like stop then we'll, we'll go from there I, i'll let you guys know we'll try and do it for the entire month but anyhow go watch it a couple times share it out you know what to do you know it's all for a good cause so uh no no i didn't sneeze i was like that close and then like it didn't happen oh i found the music so there play play that oh okay can you hear it? Oh, that's like really low. Should I turn that up? Ah, uh, I bet it's I bet it's fine. You guys can hear it in the background. Anyhow, before I did this, oh god, I wanted to show you guys the uh, the Google art that was going on today because I think it is amazing, and I actually ended up. Um, <laughs> Losing track of where I was programming at work because I I was going to go Google something and I saw that pop up and I'm like, oh, it's development, it's video games, it's awesome. So, um, yeah, let's see if I can get this pulled up. I'll just do a new tab. And how are we going to do this? Uh, if I look at my Roblox screen, we have Chrome right there. Unblock. Well, let's, let's uh, okay. And then we need to change to new Google Chrome tab. There we go. There, voila. And then I could fade right over and we can see it. So um, this actually does have music to it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to force you to watch it because it's fun. It's awesome. It's a good story and it looks like classic video games. Plus, I'm not just about video games. I am a developer and I encourage you if you've never developed, if you've never programmed, if you want to create your own game, go out here to Gerald, Jer Gerald Jerry Lawson's 82nd birthday and jump in here and, and you'll, you'll see. Watch this. This is so cool. Hold on, Winamp, shh, be quiet for a second, shh. There we go, okay, cool. So, whenever you open up a new Google tab, if you click up here, boop, it opens up the oh, Break down, oh, oh no, 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 I wanna see the thing. No, where's the intro? Hold on, do the intro. Hold on, can I do an F5? Home, 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 home. Do it again, play, no, edit. Tutorial. Is this it? There it is! This is Jerry Lawson. Press the arrow keys to move. I don't know how loud, loud this is. Um, hold on. Can I do balance down here? Um, that's still super loud. Hold on, hold on. Switch tabs. Ugh. Okay. Actually, no, let's go back. Oh man, I am. I apologize. That was that was some chaos right there uh, because I wasn't, you know, controlling the sound at all. Where right click, open volume mixer. There it is. That's what I wanted. Yes, I want uh, Google Chrome. You are at 50, 40, 30 percent. Thirty percent. That should be nice and still pretty loud. I mean, that's that's probably blasting your eardrums. I'm gonna turn down just a little bit more. Let's go down to 11%. 11%? 27%? Uh, I don't like that. That's like negative 35 decibels. I, I hope that's good. I hope that's good. Anyhow, press the arrow keys to move. Here we go. Let's do it, buddy. Woo! So, Jerry got his start building arcade games in his garage for fun. Sounds like somebody I know. He soon became one of the first uh, black engineers to work. Ah, dang it! I missed it! Well, I'm not skipping it. Give it back to me. Let's go. Tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. T Tutorials, tutorials. Where was it? Settings, tutorial. There it is. This is Jerry Lawson. I, I just need to read faster. 
He got his first job building arcade games in his garage for fun. Got his start, not first job. Uh, he soon became one of the first black engineers to work in the video game industry. Haha, <laughs> space part of Jim. In 1976, Jerry led, a, led the team that developed the revolutionary first... Dang it. I hope you guys read it, because I can't read that fast. Or you can, you can pause and go back. All right, I'm not worried about it. So, sorry, Jerry. I won't be able to read all of them out there. Was that a key? I just picked up a key. I wish I had an inventory screen. Boom. Jerry's work unlocked a whole new way for everyone to play and make video games, including you. Tap the pencil. Click on the block down below for the toolbar. Solid block. I'm going to select the plain solid block. And then we're just going to go doot, and do doot, and do doot. Like that. Play, play, test. Play, test. Oh, I can get more coins. I don't know if they actually add up to points, but... Boom. And finished. You did it. Now you're ready to build your own game, just like Jerry. And then they've got all these different little selections that you can do. So like, these are supposed to be cartridges, and like these, this is a console. It's so cool. So, go check this out. Make sure you watch the No Shave November, and I will close that. <laughs> Let's go back to Roblox. Anyhow, I thought that was that was really cool because like that's yes. Yes, we need more of this in the world. Teaching people how to program, teaching people about computers. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are just like, I'm I'm not good at computers. I don't know computers. Well, the, it, the, here's the thing. Um, if you can't get your hands on technology, it's, oh, that sucks. That really sucks. And I'm, I'm that kid who always had technology growing up, but it was technology that was broken and it was technology that was handed down or I found in the garbage. And, uh, or I'd go to the library and I'd learn about it in, in books and stuff like that. That's where, you know, the love for it comes from. It's a passion. I don't even remember what I was doing. Like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before I started this video, I had a plan. I was like, hey, I'm going to do this. And I've just forgotten all of it. Oh, 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 oh. I remember. I remember. Okay. Okay. So right here. All right. This, somebody said in the comments, I think it m may have been, I don't remember. Dang it. Vincent? Maybe Vincent. Lappert? Lappert? I don't remember. Somebody told me that, hey, Code, instead of doing it over here, after the stuff has been processed, um, put it here, and it will shake before it goes to process. So if you, it like, this way, it doesn't get compacted, and give you that three by one by three shape. Because this right here, this is three by one th by three. Okay? And these have been and these have been programmed to not listen to three by one by three. So if you compact sand and try and put it through here, it doesn't work at all. So that's uh that's a bit of a problem for me. I want to do this. Since we're going to have a little bit extra, that means I should be able to move this back okay so this is this is all good what was that e e oh e is start the <laughs> start the compactor no that's not what i want to do i want to move you there you go there. you get out of there Whew. that was butted up right to the edge so that's not going to work all this has got to come down dang it all right we'll uh we'll keep all the pieces together though so Bum, bum, bum. No space. Sorry, 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 sorry. That was my bad. My bad. And uh, to everybody who commented code, we want more um, building tutorials and stuff on refinery. I'm, I'm down. It's just I'm, I'm feeling bad. I haven't been playing lumber, and I haven't had any time. Time is of the essence that I don't have. Oh. Literally yesterday, I was, I was super debating like doing the no shave or just. No, it wasn't yesterday. Oh, I skipped a day. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. <clears throat> Anyhow, let's keep going. Hey, I can finally get this piece out of here. <laughs> it fell down in between, which was... Wait, it did fall down in between, which means... I do have an extra space to go forward, but it's only by one unit. No, I'm good. I'm good. I need to redesign this anyway. 
No, I don't want to switch directions, but I do need to break it apart though. Um, hold on, let's just do this. We're, we're gonna go ahead and not switch directions again. We're going to go one, move, you. Come out, go over there, you. We're going right there. Does it keep its walls? It sure does. It does. Look at that, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that will be high enough. And then I move right there. Maybe here, maybe here, maybe here. Dang it. That's still gonna fall down, isn't it? And I'm not gonna be able to build on top of that. So <clears throat> here is a cool little fact about these building games and how the building works in Roblox. So see how this is a perfect matchup to like the sides here, right? These bounding boxes you can't build inside. You can build on top of, but just because of the shape doesn't mean that you can put it on the surface. You have to constrained to these bounding boxes. So, even though it looks like the conveyor is high enough, watch the bounding box of the feet. Nope, we are not high enough. I gotta get this bound. I gotta get this bounding box higher than this bounding box. So it's gonna be a, a bit of a drop. So, I hope that explains a little bit about the building mechanic. Code, why are you doing the voices? Because I have ADHD. Leave me alone. It's fun. <laughs> That's all, folks. No, um, a lot of people, a lot of sayings whenever I was growing up where he suffers from ADHD. I don't suffer from ADHD. Now, here's the thing. I am very forgetful. I am very, um, I don't know, just different. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, what I'm trying to say is if you have ADHD, if you have autism, if you have um, Down syndrome, if you have anything like that, don't take it to heart. Like, I'm, I'm not like everyone else, because that's not entirely true. You are special. Like, just like I am special. And that's not to say that everyone's not special, because I believe that everyone is unique in every way. And that's not saying the whole, like, snowflake thing. I'm just saying, like, <sighs> when it comes to realizing your differences, like my ADHD and, and the stuff that goes along with that, it's understanding why you have it. And how it works and it takes a really deep reflection of self because man I completely lost track of what I was doing <laughs> perfect ex example right there uh, okay bounding boxes wait what am I doing I need to move the wire right no 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 beep 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 how do I Z how do I undo can I just finish? Finish? No? Place, place. B, 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 B. Let's quit. Cancel. Q to cancel. And Q to cancel. There we go. Alright, now we can move. What were we doing? I'm gonna move this thing. Are we high enough now? Is the bounding box higher? Yes, it is. So, we should be able to move this under. Let's get it lined up. Right there. Oh, that's nice. That's perfect. That's exactly where I wanted it. Alright, move you. What I do like about this game is everything's like it's its rotation is remembered. Right? So see how this plate is rotated right here? Now, in lumber whenever I'd rotate this or whenever I'd, I'd pull it out to move it it would lose its rotation and take whatever my default rotation was of the, the blueprint tool. So it was the same orientation for all blueprint objects. I don't know if that makes sense, but it wasn't saved locally. The The rotation of the object was not saved. So that is one thing I do appreciate about the build system on here. Okay, should I move that back a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I should, I should. 
Okay, let's move this back. Come on back. That'll look good. And then that'll allow it to fill up even more. <laughs> and to the person who has bad eyesight, I do apologize. I, uh, I don't have any lights on yet. Can we put this on the other side? Oh, look at that. I think it fits better. I have a feeling some stuff's gonna go out the sides, but it's okay. Can we put some wedges in there? Oh, that would be awesome. All right, hold on. Do we have wedges? We got wedges. I got a wedgie. <clears throat> oh. Wait, 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 wait. Will this? No, that's gonna look weird. Yeah, we're not doing that. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Q. Cancel. Uh, wait, what is this? Oh. Can we make it bigger? Is, it, is there a bigger version of it? Hold on. Cancel that. Corner ramp inner one. So this is just the height. This is still a tiny, tiny brick. I guess we could just like put a whole bunch of them on here. Can I do it right off the edge? Can't do it on the edge. I have to have something to put it on. Huh. And you can't place ob like blueprints on objects, or at least not on here. That's weird. Hmm. Uh, you're you right. You right. This is this is ridiculous. We need light, so let's go. Let's go get a light. Um, if we flip over, does it write itself? No, a self-correcting vehicle. I'm floored. I am absolutely gobsmacked. That is awesome. Not that anybody ever uses the word gobsmacked, but that's cool. Code. Yes, sir. I don't even know these guys' names. Windmills 12. What's up, Windmills 12, dude? Looking like some uh, men in black here. Here come the men in black. That is an old thing. Is it wrong to talk about like any movies that Will Smith was in because of the whole slap thing? Is that old news? Can we make fun of it now? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I should leave that one alone. Ooh. I was thinking about making some lumber uh, Christmas songs. Oh, work lights? Oh, yes, please. Let's grab a couple. Oh, that like fit right on the counter. That was awesome. Oh, it was because you were holding it. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to slam you with that. Uh, buy for 120? Uh, yes, please. I had to look at my wallet first. I'm like, do I have enough? Yeah, you got 12,000. You're good. You're good. Um, oh. Oh my, light pour. Hold on, can I, can I do this? <laughs> no, no. Does that work? There's, really? I got the light pole too? There's no way. Hold on, just get on there. <laughs> Dang it. It's at discounted prices. No, it's all disappearing. <laughs> all right, fine. All right, I'll just grab these, these three, and I'll check out. Uh, buy for 180. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, Astro underscore not found. Astro underscore not found. What was the other guy's name? I'm trying to think about it. Oh, how am I gonna get these home? Oh wait, can I just hold on to them? No way. Oh, I almost feel like I'm cheating now. We get a big truck? Dude! Can you imagine how fast it'll be to buy stuff and set it up? Man, I wish I had more time to play this. Okay. Uh, out. We don't need blueprints. I need to open these up, please. Please open. Thank you. 
I keep trying to hold shift to, to rotate. It's not the way to do it. All right, E to turn on. Nice. Uh, we need to be right about there. I'll turn that one on. Good deal. Good deal. I like it. I like it a lot. So that should siphon everything. All right, we do need to move that though. Come here, you. Set you toward the back. And actually, we're gonna set you, we're gonna set you out a little bit higher. And the reason for the height is so stuff can fall in here without tapping it. And then once this uh, fills up, one of those bricks is gonna tap it. So I should probably get some more walls in there. <clears throat> Do we have, oh, come on, get rid of the chat. There we go. Wall, tile, wedges. The wedges are so small. Hold on, can I use these long ones? You know what? I'm done. Let's just do the thin walls. Oh, those are tiny. Not sure I like it right there. No, I'm gonna do it. Rotate. Is it R to rotate? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, Q. Is there a tall wall? There's a tall wall. Oh my, that's like a super tall wall. Sound like blue blues for a second. Not really. It's a little lame. <clears throat> it's gonna take a lot of material to build. Um, let's go back to here. Let's trash this one. We don't need that. Um, and we can Q move this one right there. And then Q, let's do that tall thin corner wall. No, I don't like that. Ugh, yuck. Um, two by four, two by eight, four by eight, two four by eight. Holy cow. It's a big wall. Uh, quit. Let's do two by eight, two by four, two by four. Love it. That's perfect size. Okay. E there and E there. Kind of a cool little design to it. All right. Um, uh, we can get rid of the tool. There, we're good. We're good. All right. Come here, you. Yay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's only 44%. Hold on. What about you? You got... You got... 84%. Boom. Oh, we can destroy you. You were not helpful in the least. Boink. Do I have any more of these? These these are actual wall walls, aren't they? Oh no. Do I not have any more? <gasps> what is that? Is that gold? What are you doing out of place? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> the whole point was to take this thing and move it. Um, move. Go. Alright. We've got one, but we need two more. And we need two more of these things. Okay. So wait. We need two switches, two wires, and uh, two sifters. Do I have a faster car or truck? Maybe something not so crazy. You know what? It's fine. We'll take the big old dump truck. My voice is coming through, right? Test, test, test. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, was the sand sifter over here? I need two of them. Is that two or three? That's uh oh, wait a second, what's this? Sandbed manual by someone who contributed development of this game. What? Buy for fifty bucks? Yeah. What is this book? Hold on, rotate W. No, not throw! Is 
interact e how to use the sand bad, sand bad machinery turn on the device to turn the device on and to power the input there's some music playing over there hold on let's get away from here um output lights up if device succeeds to shake off an item <gasps> So when it finds something, it turns on. Hmm. And if they're going through one by one, that would make sense. Hello? No? I thought somebody came in. Maybe not. Okay, I like the manual. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the manual. And then let's go ahead and get Two of the sand bed shakers. And I bet one of those books is in there. What? Come here, you. Now, what I don't need is another book, so I'll take that book, put it off to the side, talk to you. Yes, please. Thank you much. Uh oh. Stack them. Zibbling! I like building games. <laughs> so I'll tell you a little secret. <clears throat> and this is something that, uh, that stays between you, me, and the internet, okay? Um, whenever I was little, right, we used to go and have family get-togethers, family gatherings, stuff like that, and I always thought the little kids' toys were the coolest, right? I mean, I was probably 11, 12, 13 years old, and I still thought the little ABC book was awesome because I was figuring out like it was little toys right but those toys had codes to them because the plastic pieces would push down in certain areas and create a different sound and I thought to myself how did they do that and that was because they were using the teeth of the plastic things to like push down on buttons and those certain combination of buttons would play a certain sound and anyhow I got made fun of it my family said, oh, we should get you one of those for Christmas. I was 13, maybe 12, maybe 11, somewhere around in there. But I remember how bad that hurt. Like, uh, that's not why I was playing with it. It's not that I was interested that it was a little kid's toy. It was the technology behind the toy that had interested me. Anyhow... And it was still fun to play with. That's why I play Roblox, because this is things got... Seriously, like, do, do you, if you guys have not seen it, you can program your own games. I, you know, sudden realization... It's an epiphany. The sudden realization to the world around you, this is not a game that existed before the developers made it inside Roblox. That is awesome. Okay? So, anyhow, that's what I'm trying to say. There's a passion behind it. Let's go right there. Nice. That is upside down, isn't it? Are we going to have to fix that every single time? Uh, I think that bug was fixed. So let's do rotate, rotate, turn, turn. And try this again. See if this is the right direction. Nope, upside down. <laughs> uh, turn, turn. There we go. Rotate, rotate. Turn, turn. That looks better. <laughs> uh, you so crazy, Cody. So crazy. Um, that is upside down. So if we do rotate, rotate, turn, turn. Can I just put it right there? Does that work? Or does it have to be attached? I think it has to be attached. So let's put it down here. <gasps> it fits. That is, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. And let's go. Move here, and we're going to go to the input here. And then, if we wanted to, we could put a little ding, 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 or some kind of sound that's like, "Hey, we found something." Anyway, that'd be kind of cool. All right, let's uh, let's dump this stuff out. Maybe that's not the truck that I was looking for. Yay, it's like presents. Oh, it's still... It's not what I was interacting.
interacting with. Come here, you. There we go. Does that just turn on and off? That is still pretty cool. Hey, uh, developers, you should definitely do that with like some posters or something. That'd be pretty cool. That's just a, that's a floating GUI. It's a, um, it does exist in 3D, but it's always facing the uh, camera. Particle, it's like a particle effect. Anyhow, that's a GUI. Graphical user interface. There's an entire section on that in uh, Unity 3D online. Not sponsored. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Rotate, rotate. Hold on, which side is the input on? Input is on the far side. We got the input on the far side. We need to do a turn and a turn, turn. And a turn, turn, turn. Okay, so E, oh, hold on. E to open. Rotate, rotate, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> that was not right. Okay, hold on. Where is the inputs? Okay. Put the inputs to that side. Rotate, rotate. And they're on top. That's good. Right in the middle. We got it, my boy. Okay. Um, actually, I do need to take something that I can carry. Um... Tell you what, since I've got ten thousand already, let's go. Let's go take a look at the automobiles. I'll come back to build this later, but whenever I'm running around, I need to have something. Oh, why am I taking this? I'm like, we need to travel fast. Let's go get the the good car, the four by four. Didn't we? Yeah, I didn't even unload that from the last time. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Under the rock bridge, western we go. I think that we are going west. Silver, silver and gold. That's awesome. Ooh, I, I do like this 4x4. It doesn't carry much, but I do like it. I also like that they, they put two seaters in here, so you can seat two. There we go. Alright. Alright, let's act right. Let's act right. Don't act a fool in here. It's a car dealership, okay? And when you go into a car dealership, you gotta negotiate them prices, okay? Just you can't go for the price that they got. And that's what you gotta say what's what's up, you know. I'm just kidding. Let's see what cars I got. Hello, Mr. Main Band Forever. Got a garage door. And I got trailers. I could I guess I could hook up a trailer. These are like heavy, heavy duty trucks. Where's like the cars and stuff? Hmm. I like your skulls. They look cool. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm out. Um, <clears throat> somebody said there is another dealership where there's other places to buy cars. I don't know if that's the truth. Do you speak truth? Uh, hello, conspicuous. But anything secretive about you? Just two, two large blocks that came together at the right spot. All right, let's go. I swear I keep hearing my door open. It's silver up there. Oh, what was that? Was that a tree growing on the inside of a hold up? Okay, that tells me that tree, th tree growth generation is being done. 
cool. Is there anything behind this map? What? Uh, excuse me one second, I have to check my phone. There we go. This is just Messenger. But, hi dad, and I'll have to watch the video later. I'm a little preoccupied. Um, okay, the Far Lands is still a work in progress. Logic store. Trusty pickaxe. The trusty pickaxe is, is marked? Hold on, where are we at? Oh, we're like way down here. <laughs> yeah, there's really not anything over here, is there? Testing area we can't get to. the top there okay so do we have to go across the railway to get to the logic store it doesn't really make a bunch of sense oh I see okay I'm recognizing some features here okay okay I get you I get you so this is where we drove through and then right there's where the uh, we got the the sand sifters and then there's the cave entrance Sunstone is way over there. Pure crystal. Odysseus. Odysseus. Huh. I did watch the one that uh, Bunny did, and he said that the. Uh, 37 minutes? <laughs> well, good. I didn't have too much to do tonight, so that's fine with me. Um, what did he say? Volcanium was like the best one, but it's a real pain to get down in there. I think the quarantine zone... Anyhow, I'll have to go back and watch what he did. I don't see any other vehicles, so I think we're kind of restricted to just these for the moment. Can't be true. Let's go, let's go to the cave entrance. Let's go down in the caves, see what's down there. I need a hat. Get a little bit of extra light going. Oh, 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 oh. oh, could you imagine doing this in VR? Oh, I should totally play this VR. Zeke, get me VR, sir. Nope, 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 not happening tonight. I am not in, in the mood for that. Let's, uh, yeah, uh, where do I need to go? Do I need to go back this way, right? There we go. Get me out of here. <laughs> go on out. Man, that would be such a pain to try and get back up this with, like, a heavy duty truck trying to uh, 
trying to get all the way back up that thing. And we've already been down this way. We know this this direction. But we don't know all the way to the end. No, we don't have to. We don't have to. Go back home, go. Go back home. Uh, I tell you what. Um, we've made a couple of um, assumptions and things that we could possibly do. So why don't we do this? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what to make in the next video. And I will try my best to, to get it done. I like that. It's a good idea. Code, you should play lumber. No, I'm not, that's not what I... You know there's going to be somebody that doesn't, right? Somebody's like, Code, lumber. I'm like, was there an update? What was the update? I want an update. I am ready for Christmas presents. That's what I'm ready for. I'm ready to go in there and decorate my... Oh, that's the thing. <gasps> Nothing scarier than playing a game in a private server by yourself and hear strange noises. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of um, Refinery Caves. If I ever get time to play it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night, get some sleep, and we'll talk to you very soon. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, I gotta go check something. Hold on. Nope, looks like we're good. So, love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.